In this video, we will go over the answer to question 9 of the 2021 New South Wales HSC Chemistry exam. This question asks, the amount of paracetamol in a sample needs to be determined. The UV absorption spectrum of paracetamol is shown. This is followed by a graph of an absorption spectrum. Then the question asks, based on the absorption spectrum provided, which solvent should be used to determine the amount of paracetamol? On the next slide, we see the four options given. We keep the paracetamol spectrum to the left, and compare against the solvents. Looking at solvents A through D, the only solvent which doesn't mask paracetamol's distinct peak at 250 nanometers is solvent D. Therefore, D is the answer. In order to understand why this is the correct answer, let's look again a little more closely at the spectra for paracetamol and for the solvents. We remember that a solvent should interfere as little as possible with the chemical of interest. Here, we are looking at UV spectroscopy. Therefore, the UV spectrum of the solvent should not absorb at wavelengths where characteristic features of the chemical are present. Solvents usually have a cutoff wavelength, a wavelength above which no more absorption occurs. We want the solvent to have a cutoff below any distinct features of the paracetamol. In the case of paracetamol, we can see a sharp peak at 250 nanometers, plus some absorption around 200 nanometers and less, outside the range of UV spectroscopy. Solvents A through C have large, relatively broad peaks in the 250 to 300 nanometer range. Because of the broadness of these peaks, there is considerable absorption at 250 nanometers. Their cutoff is above 250 nanometers. If we did use any of these solvents, that would cause confusion over the presence or absence of paracetamol in a sample. If we see an absorption peak around 250 nanometers, this could be due to the paracetamol or the solvent itself. Therefore, Around this location, we would like to have a clear picture with no absorption from the solvent, a blank slate, if you will. Solvent D is the only option with almost no absorption at 250 nanometers, and none beyond it. Therefore, the cutoff frequency lies a little bit below 250 nanometers. This is exactly what we're looking for, and therefore D is the answer. For this video, the following references were used. In Raja et al., we can see the cutoff wavelength defined, and a warning to choose solvents where the cutoff is not too close to where the sample absorbs. In our other reference, there is also a warning that not all solvents are suitable for every case and includes a list of various solvents with their cutoff frequencies. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.